Hi friends, welcome to Code Jama, and today let's take a look at how to install XGBoost in Python. Okay, so as you know that XGBoost is an optimized distributed gradient posting library designed to be highly efficient, flexible, and portable. And yes, I'm reading it from a documentation. So with that, let's install XGBoost in Python. First of all, I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop so that we can keep things clean. So XG Boost. All right. Now I'm going to open my PowerShell and navigate to desktop and then XG Boost. I'm using tab to complete the whole name. All right. Now you need to check whether you have virtual environment in your system or not. So virtual EMV version. If you've been using Python, then you already have it installed. So as you can see, I have version 20.0.14. Okay, now I'm going to create a virtual environment in XGBoost folder. For that, I just need to run virtual env and then venv as a folder name. By convention, we keep it venv. Press enter and it will take few seconds. It's done already. Now we need to activate that environment. So venv scripts, press tab to complete that, and then activate. As you can see on the left corner here, you have venv telling you that now you are working with XGBoost virtual environment. Now, all you need to do is pip install XGBoost. And this will install, so currently it showed me an error. Now we'll wait to see if that error actually terminates the stall of XGBoost or not. And it did not. So XGBoost is 54.4 MB, so it's going to take a while depending on your internet speed. Okay, so XGBoost is downloaded. And now it's installing each dependency one by one. I already have the NumPy, SciP, and XGBoost in my system. Otherwise, it would have downloaded all those dependencies again. There you go, XGBoost has successfully installed and you can cross check it via pip show XGBoost and it will show you the version number and summary of it telling you that it has successfully installed XGBoost and its dependencies SciP and NumPy. Okay, uh, one more thing you can also do this from Python shell. You can try to import XGBoost in your script and if it successfully imports it without any error just as it did here then you can use XGBoost in your program so I'm just going to exit out of it and if you want to deactivate the environment before exiting you can do so via deactivate command there we go the venv on the left corner is gone now you can exit from command prompt so thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.